Hello everybody, it's Harry Box with the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's Tuesday night, the 20th of September. These are the charts of the day. Well, it was a kind of a sloppy day today, but um, an interesting day in terms of the way the formations are different between the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P. If you look at the overall structure here, you'll see one, two, three, four tops in the NDX. Slightly higher here, slightly the higher here, but net net. It couldn't get through and certainly wasn't confirmed by the S&P, which is showing pretty negative divergence meaning that after making a normal new high here we were this is where we were on the end the s p very very far away and the s p which if you look at the pattern here it actually topped out broken down sharp rally back but then back and forth in a wedging type formation getting narrower well if you look at this as the gap the declining tops line and this as the rising bottom line within that wedge we certainly have what looks like a ominous wedge pattern coming off of a move down, which often will lead to, if it is a continuation pattern, another sharp move down, which could get us right back down to 21, 10, 20 zone, at least, if not even lower down towards 21, 100, or even 20, 2087 in that area. Right now, we're looking at this pattern. Measure that move to there, head it on to there, and you could get a move all the way down in that zone there. So I'm just being cautious in here. I did not like the way the market closed today, and I'm not liking the way it's feeling Quite frankly. Now, one more look at the S NDX, you can see the quadruple top. This does look like a mini head and shoulders. It could be a wedge, it could be a diamond formation. There, 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 and there. So, we're going to watch closely the 4788 area because that level not only is there price support, but the rising 50 period moving average on the hourly chart also comes in at that level. So, move below, say 478588, could be quite negative for the market. It could result and it tests first of 47.70 and 47.50, and below that, much deeper. So we're going to have to be extra cautious in here. But you know what? The biotechs don't care. A lot of stocks we follow and, are, and I've been watching are doing very well. For example, Abeo, which made the top 10% gainers today, um, broke out of the wedge in early August, excuse me, base in early August after a big down channel. It's been running. It's one, two, three, four, and the fifth wave may have started today with a big thrust of a 67 cents or 13% on 624,000. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's the biggest volume on an update all year. And so if this extends, there is some resistance on the Bay up around the 7 area, followed by what could be a target near 820. So those are my targets going forward, 7 and 820. 6.3 days to cover. Could be interesting. Keep an eye on this one. AERI, well, what can I tell you? It is a monster after it gapped and pulled back. We have, I saw it in around the 30 range. It subsequently has gone to 30. 898 today, but after hours is trading even higher. If you take a look at, at one point, spiked up to 3987 according to this. But back to the daily chart, you'll see that it's exploded. We got to be very careful with a stock like this. My short term target is 44 ish. If it gets up there tomorrow, it may be a little bit too far, too fast, to say the least. 11.7 days to cover. These shorts are trapped. The long term pattern shows this is new all time high territory, but any point we can get a pullback to retest that zone. AIRG, beautiful rising new recent IPO. You can see the multiple waves up. Pop today uh, as high as 1691 before finishing back, finishing back to 1612, up 155. That was 10.6%. And although there's a very small short position according to this, the channel looks like we won't reach the top until 18 and a half, 19. Biotech ARIA, which we gave you when it broke out of the flag a week ago, has been moving steadily nearly every day. It's a very sharply rising angle. I'm not sure how long it can keep it up, but today was a stellar day. Getting to 1305, finishing 1290, up 79 cents or 6.5%. And it traded 12.7 million. That's the biggest volume since the end of July when it broke out here. So looking at the longer term chart, you'll see that there's a line, a zone of resistance right where we are or near here. If we break through that, look for a move to 15. That's my target, followed by 18. Very strong pattern. Kara, yet another biotech for stock that's been moving and breaking out of the base of late. The last three days were exceptionally heavy volume. And you can see the stock popped through the declining top side through lateral resistance, kept going, and now is up near this line, near resistance around 7, 20, 25. Closing at 727 today. If there's any extension, we may very well see this run up near nine. That's my next target line. Followed in immediately 
I declined top sign around 10. 3.4 days to cover on that. Well, CLCD, one of the better swing trades of the year, when it popped and exploded and pulled back, we gave it to you. And then it ran right back up from 21, 2021 20, range up to 35.48 today. Fantastic move. And although it is near the top of the channel and it's extended and I've and reached my swing trade targets, I would look for pullback opportunities because I don't think this is done yet. Very strong reaction to their positive drug news. E equally as impressive as Clovis, which exploded in August, consolidated, and gave you a buy on it, and ran up and has run up sharply. Now, there's a massive triple, quadruple top and gap right in the range where it closed, right around 35. That was my target as a result, but as you can see, if it gets to here, it can very well do another 10 points or more. Keep your eye on this one going forward. Three and a half days to cover. Taking a look at the hourly chart and see the channel that it's in. It's a very strong one. EGRX is another biotech which broke its trend line on a breakaway gap a month ago after consolidating for four weeks and broken out today. A 404, 6.6%, with 8.24 days to cover. I'm looking for this to extend to test 71. It's about six points from here, and then maybe mid 70s or even better. 8.24 days to cover, as I said. Good channel up. ESPR, well, this is finally woken up after a move from 100 down to 1. And a base in this zone here that kept it a lid on it, say, for about two months. It popped dramatically today, spiking up uh, 207 or 18%, 1.7 million. That's the best volume since it got crushed in July. Maybe we get an extension. There's a gap to fill here. And then there's some additional upside target around 16, 16 and a quarter across there. Let's keep an eye on this one for a follow through tomorrow. Almost 11 days to cover. Well, swing trade EXAS extending little by little up 3% today, but it broke out above the resistance. I'm looking for a test of 22.80 quickly. I'm going to move to mid channel around 25.6. Ultimately, low to mid 30s is my target on the fifth wave. One, two, three, four, and five. Six days to cover on this beauty. <coughs> I don't want to leave out EXCL, one of the best charts I've seen in a long time. Three and a half to 14 plus, and still going. Up five days in a row, little by little. A move like that can be sustained for quite a while if it doesn't get too far ahead of itself like it did there, resulting in a three, four week consolidation. I do think we're going to see 15, 15 and a half, and then as much as 18 or better. Four days to cover on this one. Well, Swing Trade Hudson, after popping and pulling back, we uh, were in it around the th this level here. It then popped and pulled back one more time, then ran from a low of 470 to a high of 660, and then pulled back a beautiful falling wedge. Today it popped out. The line wasn't big enough for me to get too excited, but I do think we got a shot at 7, 7.5 coming up in this zone here. LABU, while the biotech's running, LABU's running. Across the triple top yesterday, it followed through today. Kind of a weird inside plus day. I wouldn't call it inside day. A smaller day and it closed mid range. Nevertheless, it was up 340 or 7%. I'll take that every day. My only problem is with new price highs above here, the OBV is not making new highs. Possible negative divergence? I'll have to see, but I'm cautious. Puma up a whopping 621. Now, isn't as good as it could have been. It was up nine at one point. It did pull back, but it came on late in the day, as you can see. And for me, I don't think this stock is done. I think it's far from done. I'm looking for this stock to make up to in the 82 range. 80, 82, something like that would not shock me going forward. Three and a half million shares, the biggest volume on an update going back a couple, three years. So that's significant. It could back and fill in here. Let's see if it holds the breakout. Uh, today's low at around 60 ish would be wonderful but how that consolidated and moved up. SRNE, well an old biotech fair of ours where we made a lot of money back in 2015 but this got hammered in a one, two, three, four, five rate decline. And now this, this is kind of a basin pattern. Notice that the April high was up around 780 and right now we're approaching that hitting 758 today. We get through 780, it's a lot of room to run all the way up into that 10 range. That's my target on this one going forward. With 21.85 days to cover, if we get a follow through tomorrow, I may put a swing on it. I do believe you're going to see something like this. And a move up in that zone. Huge 
Jewish, 20, almost 22 days ago. Sarepta, the monster of the midway, moved up to resistance today, up another 679. Now, um, I'm not sure how much more it's got, but if it gets to this one, you can see it spike all the way to 75. It needs to be watched carefully. Today's low at 51.95, maybe uses a stop. Gas may be moving the UAGAZ ETF up 489 or 12%. And did it on 2.1 million, not best, but better volume. Um, I want to watch and see what happens tomorrow if it gets to 44, 85, 45, or, which is closed above, because the next target would be a retest of the spike high at 50 plus. So let's see if we can get a trade out tomorrow. Secondary target is 57. And finally, today, Zine, which I put a swing on today, I believe that this pop here on 509,000, the second biggest volume on an update in months. Maybe the signal that it's starting a new wave up and could take it to 14 and then 18. You can see that the big rounding bottom in here, or this pop falling wedge and breakout, this little wedge here broke out. The key significance, I think, is that this line was taken out today. So let's see if we can extend it. Get a run up near 17 and 3 quarters, 18. That'd be my next target if it gets to 15, which is my near term. Uh, Swing target. So seven, uh, 13, 14 and 17 and a half, three quarters. Five days to cover in this one. That's going to be it for tonight, everybody. You guys have a good evening. Talk to you tomorrow. Let's make some money.